tune me up. You gonna make a monkey out of me? Huh? Huh? If you're out of tune, you're playing with fire, buddy. So, whoa, man, I can't stand up. I'm falling all over the place here. And whoa, whoa. Hi, Charles Steyer here for CherryValleyMusic.com and we're talking about playing in tune because if you're, not, <laughs> if you're not in tune, you're just a monkey's uncle. Listen to this, that's just perfectly, perfectly, beautifully in tune. And, and what does it mean to be in tune? I mean, in life to be in tune means you know what's going on, you're there, you're happening, you understand what the situation is, and music it means your your equipment is in shape and you've taken the time to tune to tune up and to have the right strings and to know that you're gonna be able to play well with other people because really if you're not in tune it just sounds like crap. Okay, we've massively detuned this guitar. Oh my god. It's bringing in the monkeys from the trees. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the whole thing from the beginning. First the tuning fork. There's our A, and as you can hear, the A on the guitar is really flat. There's the A, and we're going to bring this up. Okay, our A is in tune. We're going to start off old school and do it the old fashioned way. This is a tuning fork that's pitched. Uh, at A440, what that means there's 440 vibrations per second and that's the uh, current uh, American standard for pitch but for guitar today we're going to tune up at A440 and here's how we do it, we take a tuning fork hit it, put it on the bridge and that's the note A let's do that again be careful not to hurt yourself or your guitar there's the note A, now I play my fifth string and match that pitch now you could go to the piano and on the PDF that's available for free download with this uh, lesson it'll show you the exact pitches that you can match on the piano with that, but who's to say your piano itself is in tune. So the best thing old school wise is to get yourself a tuning fork and I always carry one in my case. So anyway there's the note A and what we're going to do is what's called cross tuning. If on your lowest string, on your E string, if you depress the fifth fret, as you know, that's an A, so that A and now your open A should be exactly the same pitch. If for some reason your, your E had been out of tune, you'd get that. So you bring that up. So you get the same pitch again. Now we use the same method to go across the strings and down. So if, if your A is in tune, and now your E is in tune, you play the fifth fret on the A string, which is D, and tune that to your open fourth string. The fifth fret on the D will be the same as your G. Here's the one difference. The fourth fret on your G string will equal your open B. And then back to the fifth fret on your E string to equal your open E. One more time. Checking the fifth fret, fifth, fifth fret E, easy for me to say, against the A, and we'll, we'll groom the guitar several times. Fifth fret on the A string is D.
I just wanted to point out to make sure that you're tuning the right peg when you tune the lowest E string is your first peg on, on the upper side, the, the left side. Your A string is the second and your D string is the third peg. When you go to tune the, the strings on the, the high strings on the guitar, the G string is over here, B string is here, and E string is here. Now for all of us, if you're tuning and you're cranking a peg and you're, and you're, and you're picking your string and you don't hear something changing, you're tuning the wrong peg. Be really careful that you don't really uh, pop a string or move something uh, way too high or way too low. Now I've hooked up this cool little electronic tuner, which most of us have now, uh, with a clamp to the headstock, and it's got a gauge on there, where if it's on this side, you can see it's red, if it goes to that side, it's a little sharp, so my E is looking good, now A, it's way flat, so I can bring that up. sure the other strings are silent. type of tuner that you can also plug it to the side of an electric guitar and it's got a gauge here it's also very cool because it can give you the different pitches that we need to tune the guitar E A D G B E and my favorite phrase is Eddie ate dynamite goodbye Eddie now like every guitarist you probably have tried to play along with a favorite song of yours and for some reason you just can't find where that song is on your guitar, it's probably because that artist has not tuned his guitar to the standard tuning. I didn't realize this when I was a kid, and it was a source of amazing consternation and frustration. But it turns out that a lot of guitarists do not tune to the standard E, A, D, G, B, E tuning. Uh, the great Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan rock and rollers tuned everything down a half step, as do a lot of uh, rock and roll players to get more of a darker, grittier sound. Uh, there's what are called open tunings, and these are very, very prevalent in uh, Piedmont, uh, uh, folk music, Appalachian music. So when we play the guitar, we have, a, we have a G chord just by playing this. A lot of the old guys... You can play chords and cool stuff just by putting one finger over part of that, or... We've all heard that. Open tuning. So what are the variables about being in tune? Uh, the first thing is you, you've got to have a guitar that in and of itself plays in tune. If you have a cheap instrument where the neck is improperly set or the bridge is wrong or the tuners are, are cheap, especially in low, or ukuleles and bad bad guitars, it's never going to play in tune. You're just never going to play in tune if you have a bad instrument. Uh, the other thing for all other instruments are, are the normal variables, which is everything. It's weather, it's humidity, it's uh, when the air conditioning comes on, you might have the windows open, uh, you'll be just coming downstairs and knocking the guitar, bumping into, bumping into things, um, putting it into a case, getting it out of the case, getting in and out of the car. So. Almost everything is really a variable in being able to uh, have the guitar perfectly in tune. I mean, I mean, I don't know. A clown could come into the studio and hit it with a hit it with a chicken, or a monkey could come flying. A monkey could come flying by and knock you right out of tune. More later. People ask me how often should you tune. The answer is tune all day long. I mean, I do. You're playing, you're bending strings, you might have a tone bar, you're waggling this back and forth, you might have new strings, you might have old strings. Tune up. Tune up all day long. So this is Charles Steyer at CherryValleyMusic.com. Tune up! <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>